So beside these simple stack based uh, exploits like this, there are other possibilities in which attackers can try to uh, take advantage uh, of programming mistakes most of the time and take, uh, take over a system. And the unbelievable things in many situations is really that the att uh, attackers have an unbelievable amount of time to experiment with, with a certain bug set. Um, they might construct a, a single exploit in multiple steps and these kind of exploits can be constructed in many situations through um, handling and mem errors in the handling of malloc memory. So the malloc memory to some extent you, you can imagine is a single linked list of some form. So it has blocks of memory, then it has some data which is linking the various pieces of data to each other. And the operations to add additional free or allocated memory to the block consist of expanding this, this list. And if a program has mistakes, for instance, that it tries to free an already freed block, this pointer at some one of the pointers which are coming out in here has already a specific value and it might uh, it might uh, well it will definitely do the insertion incorrectly because it's corrupting the list this can uh, or if the program can be can be tricked into assuming a certain block is, uh, is freed already and um, therefore these pointers exist and can be overwritten by a program somehow you can have, have been overwritten then the attacker can use these operations because the runtime itself until a couple of years ago the uh, malware computation simply took the appropriate pointers from these fields and replaced them with whatever necessary to uh, have the list that you enabled but if one now assumes, for instance, that to put something, to put an element in the middle here, add the element in the middle of this list, what has to happen is that the, the forward pointer of this one has to point here, and the backward pointer of it has to point here as well. And what this means is that if you can uh, trick the program into doing this, it uh, and you can determine what the value here is, the pointer value here, for instance, is. Then you can tell, and you can always determine what, for instance, the, the block you're freeing, what the address is. You can say, I can write the address of this block, which is free, which does not have to be a real address, achieved through Melk, it's just some value you pass to a function like free, is stored in the address which is pointed by this block. This will allow you to write an arbitrary value at an arbitrary address, which means, and this is surprising to many people, is that a simple error like uh, um, having a free, of an already freed block can have such serious consequences. And they think, well, it's, it's something which the runtime should catch, but this is not the case. So our malloc computation has been extended over the last two or three years catch many of these situations. Lots of them will be handled, the program will be aborted in most cases. And this is based on heuristics, and heuristics can fail. Which means that even though we might catch in most or all of the situations a bug which is related to memory handling like this, uh, we still have to fix all these kind of bugs because they might not be catched by, uh, caught by the uh, heuristics the next time, and then it might be a fatal exploit. We are not, we never are in the position to say we will not fix this thing, this problem in the first place, not at all. We just buy us time until the, we actually have to handle the, the issues. Because in our security response environment we have, we differentiate at different levels the problems. If you have a really, really critical error, we are issuing um, asynchronous patches for this. We are making, creating an updated package as soon as possible and get it out, which means it's a lot of energy spent on just that because we have to get it, get it out as soon as possible. If we are managing through technologies like the uh, expanded malloc or the canaries on to prevent the 
immediate exploitation of such a, such a program error. Then we buy us time because we can delay the delivery of the updated and fixed program and until perhaps the next update release, which means that we don't have to work on extra release procedures and extra testing, but instead we can do it along with the usual uh, update release and which means for us it's better and more cost effective and for customers it means they don't have to churn, they don't have to update the environment, they don't have to retest their programs against the updated environment.